Hey guys, this is Iqbal and today we will be going to study about the process of digestion and absorption. A complete Google slide for this lesson you can find on this link. And during this process, during this we will be going to study mainly about the digestion and absorption where as you know that digestion is the breakdown of large and complex molecules into simple and small molecules. This can happen by two ways. The one is called mechanical digestion where by the movement of uh, smooth muscles in the alimentary canal and by churning of the food. Uh, large molecules are broken down into small molecules while with the help of enzymes uh, large molecules are broken down into small and simple molecules and then these simple molecules from the alimentary canal are taken into the bloodstream this process is called as absorption studying this unit we will be learning these three skills Number one, to produce an annotated diagram of the whole digestive system and to identify different layers of tissues on the TS of small intestine and to model the process of digestion by using dialysis tubing. We will be working collaboratively on these three skills on this Google slide. This diagram is showing the summary of the whole digestive system. Uh, which starting from the mouth and up to the anus where from from the mouth it come to the esophagus then stomach small intestine and large intestine it is supported by three glands like liver pancreas and salivary glands moved along the gut by a process called peristalsis and during this process circular muscles contract behind the bolus and uh, longitudinal muscles contract in front of the bolus and in this way it, it creates a wave of contraction which mixes the food with enzymes and make it to move along the gut. During the process of peristalsis swallowed food moves very quickly in the esophagus while at the same time it moves very slowly even a few centimeter at a time in the small intestine so we have to find out and discuss what would be the main reason why it moves very slowly in the small intestine and as we have discussed earlier also main function of peristalsis is churning and mixing of semi digested food uh, and to mix it with enzymes in order to speed up the process of digestion pancreas is a very important organ in in the body it has two types of functions like endocrine and as an exocrine gland. So as an endocrine it produces insulin and glucagon and put it into the bloodstream in order to control the sugar level in the body while its exocrine cells produces pancreatic juice and put this pancreatic juice into the small intestine. Uh, this pancreatic juice contain a number of enzymes like amylase, lipase and Protease. Pancreatic juice contain amylase which convert starch into maltose and lipase which convert fats into fatty acids and glycerol and trypsin which is a protease which convert polypeptides or proteins into amino acids. On the other hand liver produces bile which is stored into the gallbladder and this bile through a bile duct is also put into the small intestine uh, where it emulsifies the fat. In the small intestine, intestinal glands also produces a number of enzymes and these enzymes also have a function like starch is converted into maltose with the help of an enzyme called amylase and then maltose with the help of maltase is converted into glucose like uh, proteases converted polypeptides into amino acids and lipase converts fats into fatty acids and glycerol and if we see there are I mean many enzymes which are produced in the small intestine like uh, amylase, lipase, protease, uh, phospholipase, nucleases, 
maltase, lactase, sucrase, exopeptidase and dipeptidase. During the class activities, we will be discovering the function of all these enzymes. Structure of the small intestine is also very important to perform its two functions, mainly the absorption of food and its large surface area. So its large surface area is due to the fact that because it's very long, it has folds and it's covered by finger-like projections called villi. And the transportation of digested food is very fast from the small intestine. It's due to the fact that it is uh, supported by it is supported by many blood vessels, and the layer of cells is very thin around the small intestine, especially inside the epithelial layer of the small intestine. Absorption of digested food is mainly taking place through the villi and the structure of villi is also very important for its function and uh, different types of digested food like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids and glycerol they will be, uh, will be entering into the villi through different processes and uh, these amino acids, glucose will be always entering into the blood vessels while fatty acids and glycerol they enter into the lacteal where they again combine together to make different uh, make again fat molecules or triglyceride and then uh, will be moving and entering into the bloodstream from the bloodstream through hepatic portal vein they will be going to the liver this diagram is showing the overview of uh, the small intestine as we were looking into that and saying that small intestine is very long, it's around 7 meter long and then it is folded, it has folds so to increase its surface area. Then inside the epithelial layer there are finger like projections called villi and at the, at the top of each villi there are micro villi also in order to increase its surface area. Nutrients or digested food is absorbed from the small intestine into the villi and then into the blood vessel by different methods or by different uh, processes. So like uh, glucose will be entering into the villi by, with the help of uh, sodium and then by facilitated diffusion into the blood vessels while fructose by facilitated diffusion enter into the villi and then into the blood vessels. Amino acids by active transport enter into the villi and then from villi by simple diffusion enter into the blood vessels. So dipeptide and tripeptide they act again by active transport enter into the uh, villi and then from there by diffusion enter into the blood vessel. Uh, short chain fatty acids by simple diffusion enter into the villi and triglyceride uh, are broken down into uh, like monoglyceride and uh, fatty acids and by simple diffusion enter into the villi where this uh, fatty acids and monoglyceride combine together to make again triglyceride which is now not able to move or reverse back into the small intestine and they enter now these uh, triglyceride or fats enter into the lacteal and through lacteal they, they are mean entering into the lymphatic system. Second skill to learn about the different tissue layers in the transfer section of the small intestine. Uh, we either see this with the help of microscope or in a micrograph. So uh, we during the classes we will try to draw these diagrams and then identify different layers of cells. Even we will draw, try to draw the transfer section and longitudinal section and then to identify the different layers of uh, cells or tissues in, on these sections of uh, small intestine.